Tom here from Pizarro's Pieces, back today in another video showcasing this week's pickups and the finds. I just want to mention if you are following me on Instagram or Facebook I am going to be running two separate giveaway free giveaway competitions within the next couple of weeks one on Facebook one on Instagram one after the other and I'm going to show you guys in a minute some of the bits that I'm going to be giving away so if you ain't on either of them on following me on either of them be sure to because there's some nice stuff that I'm going to be giving away right guys been a pretty good week for myself. I attended the Maidstone Toy Show yesterday. Didn't find nothing for myself. Um, I did find a few little bits um, that are going to be going to new homes eventually. The outside Maidstone Toy Show, there's a boot sale underneath like a car park. I picked up a few nice pieces there. Uh, the first thing I found there was this Gears of War um, Necker Grenadier flamethrower figure. Brand new in packet. That's a quite, got quite a bit of weight to it as well. And the guy also threw in this, which I originally thought was just a plain notebook, and now since I've opened it, I found out that it's like a, an art book showcasing uh, Gears of War 2. And it's brand new, and it's come, it come in the cellophane packet. So that was pretty cool. That was a nice find. Uh, like I said, guys, not for myself, but still pretty cool. Um, I found this Star Trek uh, Inner Space series. These are like little, kind of like... Um, sort of like Mighty Max mini play sets and this one's brand new on packet. It says on the original price was £20 but hey for the Star Trek fans and I've also picked up a couple of figures. I've got a Star Trek the Rafa Khan 25th anniversary Commander Uhuru. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm not big on Star Trek guys to be honest with you. A San Diego Comic Con exclusive Commando Sulu figure and then I also picked up a Gorn figure from and these are all from Art Asylum which is Diamond Select I believe figures that's a pretty cool figure as it goes so like I said guys nothing there for me but still I did pick these up for my missus so these are all going under under the Christmas tree um, I picked these up from the Disney shop, so obviously Nightmare Before Christmas, we've got Sally Jack and I forget this guy's name, to be honest with you, oh Zero, there we go, um, and his nose lights up, let me just press that, there we go, so I'll show you guys a picture of my Christmas tree now, let me know what you think, let me just put these down here, right moving on to myself, some bits I picked up this week, um, wasn't going to get these, I'll be honest with you, but being gremlins I thought let me just grab them um, I got them at a pretty reasonable price so these are the uh, gremlins vinyl gizmo and stripe little set they're kind of like Funkos aren't they yeah, they're made by Funko so sort of like cartoonish looking hey ho I'll pick this up now I thought this was really really good I got this on one of the Facebook groups um, a lot of you guys who are watching this video are probably on it uh, there's a Facebook group called Ula's um, which is really good a lot of trading and selling and stuff in there um, I picked this up for £18 including postage this is sealed in box unopened uh, this is a Van Helsing Dracula Beast with ex wings that extend up to 18 inches so quite a lot of weight in there guys as well um, that is a really really cool figure I don't know what to do with it yet to be honest with you I'm not too sure whether I'm going to open it or what we'll wait and see and also I picked up this uh, Pacific Rim Uprising uh, Bandai figure. Now, I bought one of these previously, not this, this particular one, but another one about eight, probably eight months back. And I was disappointed. I got it from the Forbidden Planet. I was disappointed because of how much it costs and everything. Um, this one didn't cost as much. And it's actually quite a good figure. Let me just get this out of here. Um, so this one's called... Uh, strike form so it's quite a cool kaiju monster 
these figures are very limited in articulation. They're like the Japanese, um, you know, like the Godzilla vinyl figures that, that sort of barely move, sort of lim very limited, but very cool looking. And the boxes are really, really cool. So I was pretty pleased with that. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't as much as, as what they're going for online, to be honest with you. So I was pleased with that. Um, WWE Elites, still still going, still going. Again, I picked these up on one of the Facebook groups. I don't think it was Ula's. I think it was a wrestling group. I picked these up. Um, I paid uh, 25 it might have been, for these two. Uh, both unopened, both sealed. Again, these two will be getting opened. So we've got Devon and Bubba Ray, the Dudley boys. Two that I wasn't really looking for, I'll be honest with you, in my collection, but they came up at a good price and I thought, you know what, they're there, let me grab them. So they're going into the collection. And last but not least, I picked this up. So again, this was due to groups on Facebook mentioning the fact that this had gone in the Disney stores over the last couple of days. And I, I thought my local Disney store weren't gonna have one. Um, but I went down there yesterday and they had three. So I managed to pick this up. So this is another version of Venom, um, the Marvel Select. I've got the original one in my collection. This one comes with some different head sculpts. Looking at it, I believe it might be very similar to the original one. The body looks the same, but just different head sculpts. And this is uh, obviously like a Disney Store one. I paid £24 for this. It's about the going rate for Marvel Select figures from when they first come out. They usually go for sort of between 18 and 25 um, See if you, could, you guys can see the different head sculpts there. I had to have it, so, and to be honest with you, I don't think these are going to be on the shelf for much longer um, with regards to Venom fans and Venom collectors. <sighs> Fucking bacon up here. Well, then unfortunately you can't enter this competition so I'm sort of doing this as a free giveaway it's in line I was meant to do it earlier in the year with regards to um, the opening of the website and just as a thank you to everyone who's continued to, to support Pizarro's pieces over the last well since it's began really three and a half years ago so there's a lot of odds and sods in it. I'm just going to pull out a chunk of pieces here that I'm uh, to hand and that are going to be part of it. I've got a Black Series Kylo Ren figure here. Um, I've got a G.I. Joe Ninja Warrior um, carded. These are on the small cards from America. I think these are like 2008 or something. I've got a Waddington's Vintage Turtle Puzzle. I've got an original He-Man um, Man at Arms uh, Cell. Uh, I've got a retro mini gaming TV thing. I think this has got like 200 games on it or something. Uh, I've got a Teenage two Turtle Vintage Mug. Got some Topps cards, Vintage Topps cards, Batman and Dick Tracy unopened. Got a couple of WWF Hasbro figures here. Uh, Jimmy Fly Snooker, who's pretty mint. And the British Bulldog, again, both pretty mint. I think both their actions work as well, yep. Two really good condition figures. Uh, got Star Wars, a 1997 unopened Stormtrooper LCD watch. Uh, what else we got here? I've got a Toy Biz uh, Iceman unopened figure from Marvel from, 90, from the 90s. Random, I don't know what else in there. A Turtles knitting book from, from the early 90s. <laughs> there is just some random. I've got an ET key ring unopened. There's a Gizmo plush toy. Ultron, Ultron neck of toy. I've got a Spider Woman figure. Um, there's just, just loads of odds and sods in here guys, a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, rubber, um, DC versus the Marvel Universe issues 1, 2, 3, uh, I've got some vintage Spider-Man comics of Star Wars, uh, I've got a He-Man of Thundercats comic there, so it's, it's a little, a mixed little bundle of bits and pieces, I've got a Bruce Lee figure, a Biker Mice from Mars, VHS, a Transformers original, King Kong DVD, original notebook, King Kong DVD. There's another couple of Hasbro's in here. Um, Superman Kieran. There, there's bits and pieces I'm going to add here. Um, there's a Sergeant Slaughter. There's a, a Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man statue. 
there's just all sorts guys so obviously this is going to be split into two one for facebook one for instagram and i'm going to be running the rules within the next couple of weeks before christmas um each one will probably run for about a week uh, with regards to what you can do like i say it's free entry uh, there is no pay-in or anything like that these will be given away and it's open worldwide as well so no matter where you are if you're in europe or america or australia you can enter also guys why i'm on the subject of uh, things YouTube and everything um, if there's anyone out there within in the UK obviously in England who would like to appear on Pizarro's pieces on the show I am starting to go out again and interview collectors at their homes and potentially at shows and stuff um, I have got a couple lined up if you want to be on here in your sort of south of England so London Kent Surrey them sort of areas and and you don't mind me popping around and doing a little 30 minute video I did do some last year when I first started the YouTube channel you guys would have seen I've done interviews with um, Rob at Robo Toys Robert Tats and Toys who does uh, who collects all the masks I also did Dave who collects Star Wars and Turtles who had a massive collection so I want to sort of continue doing some of them videos, um, especially now like boot sale season's finished and I want to do some different things again now I'm getting a little bit more time. So if there's anyone out there, guys, get in touch via Facebook or Instagram, I'll be happy to pop around and uh, do some footage of your collections, talk about your memories, talk about why you collect toys and all that sort of stuff. It's good for people to watch. So guys, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe please consider to do so don't forget to give the video a like and catch me on all social media obviously if you want to get some of these freebies you need to be on facebook or instagram the links are below thanks for watching guys and until the next video i'll see you all then